Hello everyone, my name is Nico Brandt and I am presenting on behalf of my co-authors William Odom and Sam Barnett. Today we present our pictorial titled A Design Inquiry into Introspective AI Surfacing Opportunities, Issues and Paradoxes. In it we propose seven speculative introspective AI services. But first, what is introspective AI? Let's start by defining introspection. It is the practice of mentally looking inward and examining one's own thoughts, emotions, values, desires and character. It is a specific practice of critically accessing key past experiences and patterns in one's life, either for self-development, reducing stress or simply curiosity for insights that are hard to capture in a busy everyday life. While there are commercial services that are mediating introspection and even some that utilize rudimentary AI such as sorting journal entries, natural language processing or chatbots, there's a great potential to speculatively and critically engage with this nascent design space. This leads into our research questions. How can the personal data records that a person accumulates in their everyday life support self-introspection practice and activities? What roles might AI play in creating introspective resources through surfacing known, potentially forgotten, or unknown life experiences bound up in those archives, and what potential benefits, tensions, and consequences exist in this emerging design space. To investigate those questions, we engaged in a design research process. At first, we familiarized ourselves with the practice of introspection and engaged in activities, methods, and literature. We wrote and analyzed dream journals, created vision boards that helped to frame future desires, created canvases that help to reflect on life and surface emotions tied to our personal archives. We conducted hands-on explorations of AI systems, such as running journal entries through personality insight extraction and plotting the results on an interactive canvas, or teaching a model on a personal archive of artworks and reflected on the machine outputs. We produced early design concepts that critically and speculatively engaged in what introspective AI services could look like that provided a foundation for future work. Through this complex and intertwined process of ongoing reflection and exploration, a set of five themes emerged that shaped our inquiry into introspective AI. These themes draw from introspective theory and inspired the design proposals presented in the pictorial. Across our process, we wanted to move away from portraying AI as a single all-knowing agent that is always right or that takes on a human-like form. In parallel to recent works in the design research community, we do not view AI as possessing the same form of reasoning that people have. The uncertainty that comes with this difference can be seen as an opportunity for design practice to generatively engage. We frame introspective AI as a mediator and translator of vast, rich and personal data records. A system that mediates between users and their personal data to prompt and inspire moments of contemplation and introspection. We crafted seven design proposals and tailored them to support specific introspective activities. Today, we will touch on three proposals. So let's dive in it. A common future-looking introspective practice asks people to visualize connections between their perceived actual self and their envisioned ideal self. The Vision Shrine device visually manifests a user's goals, dreams and desires as data collages. An ideal self canvas that updates in real time as it consumes their personal data. The device prompts our user Allison, what are you excited to learn? Her answer is analyzed and a Max Ernst painting appears on the canvas. Each vision is cautiously connected as the Max Ernst image grows, her career at Google shrinks to make room for it. Vision Shrine changes the scale of goals depending on how it believes they are being prioritized in everyday life. This is an ongoing dialogue between a user's lived reality and their envisioned ideal self. To change the layout, users can scale and reposition those visions, which will train the servers and update the aspirational score. As Allison binge watches tennis videos on YouTube, Vision Shrine connects this data and introduces a passion for tennis to the collage. This decreases the prioritization of her other desires. 
This passive interaction provokes Alison to contemplate tensions bound to her self-concept and question the consequences of her competing visions. So this proposal explores how we could use ludic framing to catalyze intimate confrontations. It raises questions around the ranking of personal desires in the context of one's perceived ideal self and asks, could a system like this lead to inauthentic visions of one's preferred future? In our second proposal, Mind Probes investigates how a longer term collaborative relationship between a person and their introspective AI could be nurtured. How should we design for ongoing dialogues with systems that make inferences about us? It's a smartphone app that works in tandem with external hardware sensors, sound, color, smell, haptic and vision. It prompts the user to collect sensory stimuli from the material world that reflect social and emotional associations. Here, MindProbe prompts Allison to capture sounds that feel melancholic. Over time, these sounds accumulate into a soundscape that represents her current understanding of melancholy. Exploring her MindProbe archive, she is able to reflect on how her experience of melancholy has shifted across time. The other sensor creates scapes that synthesize different phenomena the scents that capture bliss, colors that represent compassion, or objects that embody doubt. The introspective AI is constantly analyzing the aggregate data and makes complex inferences. The system infers that Allison's relationship to her parents' divorce has changed. To test this hypothesis, MindProbe sets Allison a new task. This design proposal probes on how a personal AI model could be trained intentionally with rich and subjective forms of personal data and the implication that this has for mediating introspective experiences over time. We are interested in how the subtle, oft unpredictable qualities of personal growth would make it challenging for the AI to adapt. How can this agency change the relationship between a user and their model? A natural trigger for introspection is socially engaging in deep conversations with trusted companions. Deep Talk Report is an application that audits verbal and written conversations to find and classify deep exchanges. Alison is at the beach talking with Helen. She is overwhelmed by the pressure of work and instability in her life. Deep Talk Report analyzes this conversation in the background and generates a curated, unique experience. Friday afternoon, as part of her introspective ritual, Alison opens this report. She re-experiences her recent conversation with Helen. The report highlights the quotes it believes are the most impactful. Generative animations and audio snippets support this narrative. At the end of each report, the service introduces three introspective avenues to her. It proposes a tailored playlist based on the topics and sentiments of the conversation, it prompts to call her dad and ask how he was holding up in situations like this when he was younger. Or to engage in a creative exercise to map the people that influence her most in life. So several issues are bound up in this design proposals. Would users willingly cede autonomy to their introspective AI, trusting it to extract and guide dialogue in the right way? Is there even a right way? Would the system create content in ways that are biased? And would this persistent, growing and increasingly entangled archive of deep exchange records shape or change the initial ritual of simply deep talking with loved ones? Our work offers contributions that extend growing calls in the HCI community to enable people to gain alternative perspectives on their life through personal data, critically explore AI as a design material, and inquire into potential technological futures and unpack their promise and peril. Our pictorial aims to inspire, frame and expand future research inquiries. What roles could personal data play in helping us introspectively consider who we are and desire to be? How might AI play collaborative roles in this endeavor over time? And what kind of new opportunities and consequences exist in the introspective AI design space and how should we reconcile them? We hope you enjoy the selection of design proposal presented and learn more about the other four in our pictorial on introspective AI. 
We are open to any questions and discussions and we thank you a lot for your time.